Hi, my name is Prem Parmar. I'm the laboratory director here at the Orange County Water District. In 1933, the district was formed, and this is actually our 90th anniversary of the district's existence. And actually 50 years ago, the laboratory was established in the district's effort to continue providing exceptional water quality for our 19 cities and water retail agencies that we serve. We perform testing like volatile, organic, semi-volatiles, inorganic disinfection byproducts, and testing in support of our groundwater replenishment system, the GWRS. You know, as new federal and state guidance has come down, our laboratories had to adjust, and reporting limits have continuously gone lower and lower. And we've also brought online uh, different types of testing for our new constituents, uh, PFAS being one of them. We brought online our first LCMS in uh, 2006 in support of the uh, federal UCMR program to analyze for a series of herbicides. And then from there, we were expanding our pharmaceutical and personal care product testing in support of our GWRS system. So that started back in 2008. And so from there, we've been expanding into the world of PFAS and we've been doing PFAS testing ever since uh, 2013. And uh, we've just been continuing ever since. And we're now at uh, three total LCMS instruments uh, hosted in our lab. These analyses are pretty complicated and so costs a lot of money to outsource to um, commercial laboratories. We made the, the decision to, to bring those in-house to manage our own quality control checks and also um, to get expedited data reporting. The main benefits of having uh, our LCMS instruments in-house is that we can control the level of quality that we produce, we can control the data turnaround times, and we can also uh, reduce costs of performing the analyses versus outsourcing them to an outside contract lab. Anytime one of these treatment facilities has been built, every day that they are not in service, that's just another day that a city will have to continue to import water at a higher cost. And so it's, it's important for us to be able to produce this data within a 24, 48 hour turnaround time so that they can get these systems online as soon as possible. Um, outsourcing to a contract lab could take upwards of two, three, four weeks to, to get the data back. And those are just additional days that the system cannot come online. Our samples are collected by our water quality department and then brought over to the lab. Once our samples are received at the lab, uh, the samples that typically go onto our SciX LCMS instruments, uh, they go through a similar process where they are passed through our automated extraction units, uh, either our Promochrome SP03, uh, units or our Autotrace 280 units. And from there, the, the samples are passed through a specialized uh, type of cartridge where the compounds of concern are captured and then they're pulled off uh, using a special organic solvent. The samples are then taken over to our SciX LCMS instruments where they are then analyzed by our, our trained staff, reviewing for any inconsistencies, uh, making sure that all quality control checks are, are passing within the, the required specifications. And then the data is then reported out to our water quality department, who is then responsible for ensuring that the data goes out to the necessary parties, whether they be internally at the district or outside to agencies like the State Water Control Board. So our LCMS primarily analyzes our pharmaceutical and personal care products and also uh, PFAS. We, we form two separate methods for our PFAS analysis, EPA 537.1 and EPA 533. So our PPCP method analyzes roughly 48 different types of compounds, different types of pharmaceuticals, personal care products, hormones. For our PFAS methods, we're able to analyze a total of 29 different compounds across the two different methods. Well, our SIAX instruments are able to analyze down to the, the low part per trillion level. So we're able to report down to even as low as one nanogram per liter for some of our uh, PPCPs. And all of our, all 29 of our PFAS compounds, we report down to two nanograms per liter. 